This weekend, the four astronauts scheduled to be on SpaceX's next crewed launch from our coast will come to Central Florida to be briefed on their mission. The launch, which is set for November 14th, follows the historic return to space back in May. News 6's James Barbero is at Kennedy Space Center. He tells us why there is a key focus on the final preparations for the mission. At a windy Cape Canaveral, SpaceX targets 624 tonight for liftoff without a crew. But in just nine days, a Falcon 9 with astronauts is planned to launch NASA's second commercial crew mission. We would like to uh, welcome you aboard Capsule Endeavor. After Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley became the first SpaceX crew to fly to the International Space Station, now it will be Mike Hopkins, Victor Glover, Shannon Walker, and Soichi Noguchi. The Crew-1 astronauts are scheduled to arrive at Kennedy Space Center Sunday afternoon. As they begin final preparations, SpaceX will test fire the nine engines of the rocket. Three, and we have an abort. We'll pay very close attention to this test because NASA and SpaceX say they replaced two of the rocket's engines after this different Falcon 9 had engine trouble before launch last month. SpaceX says two of them tried starting early, triggering this last second abort. The problem was traced to a blocked valve, and investigators say they found the Crew-1 booster had the same trouble. But provided no major issues pop up on SpaceX rockets between tonight and next weekend, the astronauts should be given the green light to fly Saturday night, the 14th. We'll go into a quarantine period uh, before we leave and even leave for the Cape. That quarantine began on Halloween. Tonight's launch and this weekend's arrival of the crew will both be live streamed to our website, clickorlando.com. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news six.